going on, bro? True. Hey, what's good, man? Hey, thanks for having this stream on here, man. And thank you for the guests, man. He's dropping some good knowledge here, bro. Well, one point of contention that I do have, as I said in the chat, CompTIA certifications are trash. You're talking to someone that has had all three A plus, uh, Security Plus, and Network Plus. One that I would say has some point of value is the Security Plus. And that's specifically because he's right. The federal government does require you to have that certification. So if you are applying for any type of federal contracts, you need that certification. And I would say Cloud Plus, which is one of their newer certifications, that has some value in this particular environment that we're in now because everything is transitioning to the cloud. And I'm not saying that the certifications from a knowledge-based perspective, if you're brand new and you want to learn about technologies, these are the certifications that you would want to start with if you just want for the value of learning. Right. If you come in transitioning from another career path or you just brand new off the streets, these certifications are the ones that you want to start with to get your feet wet. However, if you are expecting a hiring manager or recruiter to look at your resume and be wowed by any type of comp to your certification, you got another thing coming. They don't give a shit about them. And I've actually spoken to hiring managers and recruiters about this because, again, I actually had these other certifications on my resume. I barely got any type of response until I started getting uh, advanced let, certifications. Let, let, let me let you uh, respond to that. Uh, so what would you say to that? Uh, what would be your response to that? Uh, like I say, I got to disagree with him because I hear what he's saying. But once again, he basically confirmed what I was saying. He specifically stated that this is good if you are brand new into IT. And that's what everybody understands. A plus, net plus, security plus. These are certs for, that are geared towards people who are brand new into IT. Tea. Exactly. Um, and and so, that's why they're low level. Yeah, I mean, you, you I said it yourself. That. You, yeah, you, know, that, you put you put your advanced certifications behind a paywall because yeah. the, the, well, the, 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 the. I think he did say. I think he did say that they were like entry. Yeah. The, they, these are, and that's why they don't. They, go ahead, no, man. No, I'm going to cut you off. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you're right. They aren't advanced level certs. You're correct in that assessment. They are entry level certs. But you got to understand, everybody can't just go into IT and bypass the entry level phase. There are still a bunch of entry level jobs that are out there that require the A plus and the network plus just to get started. Now, we do want to clear something up for people. Just because you start off at entry level with this, that doesn't mean you're going to be stuck there forever. Within about 18 months to 24 months, you could be on to a higher level cert and a higher level position, which comes with oftentimes a higher level of pay. I'm just talking about if you are just trying to get started, just, you know, whether you're switching careers, or you're fresh out of high school, fresh out of college, this is where I believe you should start unless you want to go do programming or something else. But this this is good for people who are brand new. Don't treat it as you're going to be here for the rest of your life or you're going to use A plus to help you get a higher level job doing cybersecurity or something else. No, this is your starting point. That's the whole point of this. I don't disagree with you on that point, but my whole thing is, I guess, the economic viability of these certifications. You're not going to have recruiters, HR managers beating down your door because you got these certifications. That's just the bare bones fact of the matter. Most recruiters look at these as low level certs. They're beginning level certs. And there's nothing wrong with learning the, learning the uh, information. Like real talk, I think starting out. You know, yeah, we're, we're it, this approach. Is, is, yeah, go so ahead. Would you say is, is, this is good? Like I said, starting out and good introduction to help you, you know, get a grasp of what Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you want to get into, you know, say hardware repair, a plus is yeah I would I wouldn't doubt especially you know they revamped these certifications on a consistent basis so someone coming off the street that doesn't know anything about IT or technology yes this is a great starting point absolutely okay. good great starting points but don't expect for you to have any type of for it to have any relevance on your resume until you actually start getting into certifications that are sought after in this current market like AWS certified solution architect hell or Google certified cloud professional a project management professional AWS cloud certified pack practitioner are Brother, true, the, the higher level I gotta, I gotta, Cisco I certifications. Interrupt. I got to interrupt you, bro. Yeah, go ahead, bro. You're talking about this from the perspective. Look, everything you're saying is true about AWS, Cisco, and all this other stuff. Those are higher level certs that come with higher paychecks. We get that. Yeah. Remember, we're talking about people who are just getting started. So you can't expect somebody to realistically come from flipping hamburgers and jump straight into AWS. You got very few that can do that. Well, yeah, I'm not making that argument at all, though. Yeah, I'm but, not. But I'm saying, I, but are we on the same page with that? 
that. But I'm saying, but you did say that there is, you know, recruiting managers don't see value in that. I disagree with that because they see value in all levels because all you have to do is just go on Indeed.com and do a search for entry-level IT jobs. No matter what city you live in, there's going to be a gang of entry-level IT jobs that are asking specifically for people to be A+, Network+, plus, and Security+, plus certified. It almost, look, I'm not saying that you're wrong. It just sounds like you're trying to tell people who don't know anything about IT to kind of bypass this and just go focus on the higher level stuff. Very no, I, I didn't. I didn't. You, you missed the point where I said these are great entry level certifications for someone that is transitioning from one career to the next or coming straight off the street. Yeah, I heard for, that. For, 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 knowledge, that. For, for knowledge purposes, these are great certifications to start with. I think we're pretty much saying the same thing in different ways. However, from a value offered perspective, from a value offered to the market, don't expect for you to get these certifications and then be able to sustain yourself just off of these certifications alone yeah, no, I agree. because they I agree. are they are low level certifications most hiring managers that if you come in yeah it's good to get to have these but even then like again because I, like i said i when i got out of the military and at the time i had just finished a contract with bank of america and my certification game was like way off i graduated got my degree and i started with CompTIA. i got network plus a plus and it wasn't until I got my CCNA, started going for my Cisco search, where I actually started getting looked at a little bit more seriously. I actually started getting callbacks. I actually started getting emails. You know, my resume started getting hits on it. When I got my CCNP, that's when it was like, okay, the floodgates open. And the same thing when I got my Cisco Design Certified Professional. And then, you know, when I added advanced certification to my resume, that's when the doors opened. Uh, okay. No, I agree. I agree with that. Like I say, maybe we were saying the same thing, just yeah, kind of, just differently, bro. Yeah, yeah that's the whole all. Point is, this is the starting point. Don't absolutely to just stay there. You yeah. have to seek higher stuff, like Brother Truth is talking about, if you want to start maximizing your overall career potential and income. So I agree with that.